What's up, nation? I want you to like the video right now if you got your fingers crossed because we're all hoping we don't want another Raiders draft bust. Am I right? So if you are on the same train as that, I want you to smash that like button because as far as I'm concerned, can't handle any more first round draft busts. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and today's show is presented by my good friends, Panda Subs. Head on over to pandasups.com. Use code Raiders for 25% off all of your workout supplements. Coming up on today's show, we're going to be looking at Mel Kuyper's latest mock draft because... Well, he had somebody going to the Raiders at 7, obviously. So what you're going to see here is my analysis on that pick overall. But you do need to be able to paint that entire picture. So we're going to first look at the first six picks. Number one off the board, my favorite prospect, Jalen Carter, the defensive tackle from Georgia, goes to Chicago. At number two, C.J. Stroud, my number one overall quarterback prospect, He's, uh, or not my number one, my number two, goes to Houston. But that was kind of interesting to me because a lot of people thought Bryce Young was going to be the player that goes here. I know I definitely did. But when you look at what Mel had to say, this is why I think Raider fans should be looking. I thought long and hard, giggity, about a trade here with the Colts, Raiders, and Panthers as the top candidates to move up for a quarterback. So Mel right there straight up told you. He thought about having the Raiders trade all the way up to number two to select a quarterback. Let's go to number three here. The Arizona Cardinals are going to take Will Anderson Jr., the edge rusher out of Alabama. Number four, Bryce Young, Alabama. He heads to the Indianapolis Colts with brand new head coach, Frank, uh, no, Frank Wrights with Carolina. Number five, Will Levis, quarterback, Seattle. Three quarterbacks off the board in the top five. And then at number six, Tyree Wilson, one of my favorite edge rushers. So my question to you is, if the draft actually were to fall like this, who would you want? Who would you want freaking boo the man to walk up there and say, with the number seven pick, the Las Vegas Raiders select? I want to know down in the comment section right now. And some of you are probably thinking, well, Mitch, it's still early in the draft process. I don't know a lot of prospects. Don't get me wrong, I hear you out. Here were the next 10 players drafted. This was not the order that they were drafted in. It's just simply the next 10 players that went off the board in Mel's mock. Anthony Richardson, Miles Murphy, Peter Skaronsky, Kalaj Kansi. You guys can read. Take a screenshot if you need to. So now I'm going to go back to the question again. Who should the Raiders draft at number seven overall? Obviously, multiple needs on the defensive side of the football. Offensive line is still a need as well, especially if you're planning on bringing in an old quarterback. Hell, even if you plan on bringing in a rookie. Whoever, the offensive line needs upgraded. So in Mel Kuyper's mock draft, with the seventh pick in the 2023 NFL draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select... Peter Skoronsky, the offensive lineman from Northwestern. If you've watched this show before, you'll know how much I like this young man here. He is actually my number one overall rated offensive lineman. Some people think he's a guard. Some people think he's an offensive tackle and a guard. No matter what he's going to do, he's going to be successful. This is what Kuiper had to say on the Raiders drafting Skoronsky. The Raiders are a team to watch for a trade-up for a quarterback but they also might prefer a veteran, Tom Brady, over a rookie to take over for Derek Carr in 2023. This is a veteran roster that could compete in the AFC West with the right guy under center. Competing in the AFC West is all I want. Being able to win playoff games, that's what I want. And I do think Skaronsky, and I hate saying this, is a can't-miss prospect. That's how good he is. Also, on top of that, the Raiders have way too many holes. I mean... Way too many holes on the offensive line, on the defense especially, to give up all that draft capital and move up the draft board. Kuiper had this to say on drafting Skaronsky as well. The guy also needs help along the offensive line, though. Only left tackle Colt Miller's starting spot should be guaranteed going forward. Skaronsky, who started 33 games at left tackle for the Wildcats, can move to guard or right tackle at the next level. He allowed just one sack in 2022. He'd be an instant starter for a new look offense. And I totally agree with, he will be an instant starter. Remember how confident I was about Dylan Parham? I mean, I am so much more confident, obviously, about Skaronsky. But if you had Colt Miller, if you had Dylan Parham, if you have Skaronsky, you can do a lot of different things. And that opens up the versatility for Carmen Brasillo. And as much as I respect this Raiders offensive line coach, you give a guy like him, 
it's going to be even better. Now, today's show, again, is presented by Panda Sups. And for those that don't know, they got a brand new product. They have their strawberry and now cookie protein flavors. So remember, 25% off pandasups.com. Use code Raiders. And yes, there's actual fries, treat strawberries in the protein. And there's also cookie pieces. Tastes great and it's healthy for you. Link's going to be available for you guys in the comments and in the description of today's show. So if we're going to talk about Skaronski, let's give you my scouting report on him. Does he have short arms for an NFL tackle? Yes, he absolutely does. But I believe that he can be an elite offensive tackle. He can be an elite guard. His athleticism, it's there. He's an elite processor. One of the reasons why I love Dylan Parham as much as I did because you could see he could process very quickly which is what linemen need to do and I just threw this in here because I knew y'all would love it he had a 93.0 pass blocking grade from PFF last year that was number one in college football he's got the size his arms are short but when you watch the tape he's going to be successful NFL draft buzz had this to say on Skaronski. Skaronski is a great all-around offensive line with the potential to become a very good starter in the NFL. He has an impressive three years of college experience, having started for Northwestern since his freshman year. He is an experienced technician whose feet, balance, and hand usage are already elite, giving him an edge over other players in this draft class. He has the perfect combination of athleticism and skill. Skaronski is the most NFL-ready offensive lineman in this draft class, and for that reason, he will be the first First offensive lineman selected in the 2023 NFL Draft. So I told you what Mel had to say. I told you what NFL Draft Buzz had to say. I told you what I had to say. Well, now it's time for me to hear what you have to say. Go down in the comment section right now, and if this was actual draft day, you see the Raiders take him at number seven. I want you to grade it. A, B, C, D, or F. My draft grade is an A. He finished in one of my top five prospects that the Raiders should take. I believe this is going to be a good fit. I do think that there's going to be some people out there that want the Raiders to take somebody on the defensive side of the football. But this game is swan in the trenches. And whether that's on the defensive line or offensive line, you do have to go best player available. And in this case, Skaronski was the best player available. Now, sure, you have Colt Miller at left tackle. You have Dylan Parham. But then you got Alex Barr's free agent. Jermaine Illuminor, I'm hoping that they end up bringing him back. But he is still a free agent in his own right. You can mix and match however you want to be able to move this line. Andre James, I believe, is going to be a free agent. Maybe they kick Dylan Parham in at center. A lot of different things to look at here. But I know that Carmen Brasillo would be looking at this young man. And he's like, man, this offensive lineman could really, really help us out right away. And the amount of versatility that it gives you. Whoever the quarterback is, they're going to love it. So if you want to even see more draft prospects, I actually put out a video a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, my big board, my top 10 players that the Las Vegas Raiders should take at number seven. It's just another reason to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. And if you made it to the very, very end of the video, let me know that you're a real one. I would appreciate it. Free videos all the time. We breed. We breed. <laughs> we bleed silver and black. Maybe someday I'll breed somebody that bleeds silver and black. Either way, I'm a diehard Raider fan, so subscribe.